In the history of the art form, few films have been able to transcend the cinematic medium better than Hoyt Yeatman's 2009 indie masterpiece, GeForce. Some might be hesitant to call it a perfect film, but... Hey, I'm nine inches tall. I only see the upside. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a review slash recap slash tribute slash memorial service for what's been scientifically proven to be the greatest film of all time. Yeah, that's right. So uh, listen. The film boasts Sam Rockwell, Tracy Morgan, and Penelope Cruz as genetically engineered guinea pig spies who, alongside a genius mole played by deep fake default setting and international religious figure Nicholas fucking Cage, a sentient fly, and a hollow version of Zack the Hangover Man, all comprise the Geforce. The plot starts when they all decide to steal corporate secrets from a household appliance company because the owner, Bill Nye, the bad guy, has been selling technology to the Far East. That's China. They do this to like uh, impress the FBI, which they're technically already a part of, but like neglected because they're not official agents. It's, it's a whole thing. Either way, they break into this dude's house and do one of those epic file transfer movie moments. And uh, it all goes well. I'm just gonna skip forward. Oh. <laughs> hey. Wait. <sighs> Fuck. FBI, open up! <clears throat> Anyways, Hangover Man comes over to pick them up in his best camouflage attempt and uh, straight up commits a war crime in the process. And then, boom, boom, pow, plays continuously for 20 minutes. Boom, boom, boom. Gotta get that. Boom, boom, boom. Gotta get that. Boom, boom, boom. boom, boom, boom. boom. This song is about 60% of the soundtrack. But yeah, back at the lab, Hangover is pitching GeForce to the FBI. So, you'll notice the extremely developed sense of motor skills. That's because their brains have close to a billion neurons and a trillion synapses. That's a thousand times stronger than any supercomputer. Dude, that's literally 86 times less than your average human being, and I go into cardiac arrest two steps into my journey to the fridge. Anyways, Hango here has developed jaw-dropping technology that allows seamless communication between humans and animals, something that could easily change the societal, political, and scientific landscapes forever. The possible practical applications this would have for the FBI are impossible to ignore. No one man has ever, in the history of bioscience, single-handedly taken such a stride forward. What will your boy Will Arnett do? I'm shutting you down. We can hide in here. Go, go, no, go, go, that's go. The case. I don't do cages! And you need a trillion snapsies. Do understand that joke? Anyhow, the G4s end up in a pet store and meet Chef and Steve Buscemi because the, the cast just wasn't good enough yet. And then, I got that hit the beat the black. You can get that bass overload. I got that rock and roll. Yeah. So, um, some clients show up and uh, racially segregate the group, which I must admit I thought was a bit extreme. And then, Ew, Grandpa, what is that? That's a hideous crime against nature, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking yikes, dude. Um, after that cold-blooded stab, uh, Nick Cage realizes that he's just too ugly to ever be bought out of the pet shop, and so he fakes his death as a means of escape. And uh, you know how they say, "Fake it till you make it." <laughs> My friend Speckles got crushed in a garbage truck. I'm out of here. <gasps> I missed him already. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, wow. Bill Nye has a bad guy Skype call about his next software update. Um, fun fact, Bill was actually awarded a Nobel Prize in Physics for inexplicably managing to pull off a zero-dimensional performance in this film. But then the rats have respawned and we get to boom, 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 and then they have to fight a fucking coffee maker and Sam Rockwell says, yippee -ki coffee maker! And unbelievably gets paid to do so, a legendary confrontation resolved by some GMC product placement, epic style. Don't think the warranty's gonna cover that. Yeah!
The squad is back together after the other two escaped from the children and sequence not gonna be able to get into. Wait a minute. Where's Speckles? Speckles didn't make it. He got crushed in a garbage truck. This is all my fault. Ben, there's nothing you could have done. No, I, I, I could have told you the truth of who you really are. Darwin, I misled you. The truth is, you're not genetically engineered. Any of you. Well, that doesn't matter, because we're all special in our own way. Wait a minute! The G4 still have to stop the coffee makers! Luckily, Mr. Snub Dosker here has made them an RDV, that's Rapid Deployment Vehicle for all you noobaronis, shield room 65 with the throttle wide open. So they jump in and they're like, and they start getting chased by the FBI, so they split in three and they're like, and the spy flyers there, like, uh, flying, and then they have blades, and then they commit manslaughter, and then there's fireworks to the tune of Fortuna Imperatrix Mundi grounding the severity of what's at stake, while inevitably alluding to Karl Orff's dubious relationship to the Nazi party, allegorically emphasizing the questionability of the FBI's ideology. And then everyone claps for, for the G-Force. So yeah, they sneak back to Bill Nye's house to boycott the software update, but a script writing stroke of genius sees them held back and divided by a microwave. My god, they have arrived too late. Bill has pressed the button and turned every household appliance in the world into a class action lawsuit from Optimus Prime. But how can one man be so evil? I don't know what's going on. I only wanted to be the biggest appliance manufacturer in the world. Nice ADR dude, but then what does this mean? I am the bad guy. You really think I let myself get killed in a garbage truck? Speckles, why? Humans came and destroyed our home. Destroyed our home. Son, if you ever get the chance to bring mankind to its knees, do it. <sighs> Just brutal. It all comes together in an instant, emotionally anchoring the anthropocentric hypocrisies the film exposes. Just this shot alone is an embodiment of that unseen trauma, the stabbing geometry, the broken lighting, and the pain, the fear. The ball is now a robot. I repeat, the ball is now a robot. And he can drop space debris and Chef fucking dies again. But then Sam Rockwell says the F word. Family. And Nick Cage decides he's not going to be bad anymore. And everything breaks down. No, Hurley. Oh, no. No, no. This is all my fault. Wake up, pal. Listen, I just, I just wanted you to know you were as good as anyone out there today. I don't know what they call it back in the pet shop, but out here we, we call it being a hero. Wow, I want that framed or something. That's, that's a quotable right there. I'll just uh, slap it on a t-shirt and sell it for too much money. But yeah, from then on, everyone lives happily ever after. Uh, except Will Arnett, he probably dies of hypothermia. And Nick Cage, who is enslaved for his crimes against humanity. But uh, who cares, because the fools gets the badges. He got the badges, everybody. I like that boom boom pow, them chickens jacking my style. They try to copy my swagger, I'm on that next shit now. I place GeForce second in my list of uh, top random dance-off credit sequences right behind Garfield 2. But I place it number one on the list of greatest films of all time for obvious reasons. Anyways, this has been your boy Pabs. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, press the buttons. You, you know what's up. 
if we get this to 292 million likes i'll do a backflip or something i'll tweet at me your favorite movie and follow my only fans uh peace Permanecer en contacto conmigo.